All right, I'm gonna show you how to um, finish a piece by trimming it on the wheel. I threw this piece yesterday and I let it dry a bit. It's leather hard. Um, the bottom is, it's leather hard, but it's, it's on the softer side of leather hard. And um, the first step to trimming on the wheel is to recenter your piece. So if you look at the wheel, you'll notice there are circles on the wheel head. Um, and in order to recenter my piece, what I try to do is just kind of place it on the wheel so it, it visually appears like it's centered. Um, and then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spin it kind of slow. And this is a um, trimming tool. It's different than the other loop tools we have in the classroom. They live over in that bolt right over there. Um, it has a sharper edge than the tools over by the sink. So these are really good for trimming. Um, when I um, am checking to see if my piece is centered, what I do is I just hold my tool steady while the wheel spins. And I'm gonna end up drawing a little circle on my piece. And if you look at the circle that I drew, you'll notice that as I spun it, it's much narrower on this side and wider on this side. So I need that circle to be right in the middle so that it's um, nicely centered when I put my foot on it. So I'm gonna move it just a smidge toward me because that's where it's thinner. And then I'm gonna make another circle while it spins. Now, when we look at that second circle that I drew, it looks fairly consistent along the edge. So I'm gonna go with it and if I need to, I can adjust it later. Um, and I'm just gonna make three little beads of clay. And I'm gonna take those beads, I'm not using huge quantities of clay, you don't need a ton, you just need a little to hold it down and press the clay down into the wheel against your piece, but not into your piece. So down into the wheel, so it's just pressing gently into your piece, and then down into the wheel. So you have three points of contact sort of equally spread about um, around the circumference of your pot. So um, now I'm gonna start trimming. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm trimming something on the wheel is I like to even out the bottom and sides so I'm trimming on a nice even surface because it's a little bit uneven from where I cut it off the wheel. So my body position when I'm trimming is similar to throwing. I have my elbows pressed down and I will, I'm right-handed so I'm gonna keep my left um, finger just resting on the middle of my piece. And that's just so that I can feel if my piece comes loose and I can stop the wheel right away. Um, and then um, I'm gonna hold my trimming tool just flat against the side of my piece. And I'm just gonna gently kind of try to even out my edge and just make it nice and smooth. I'm not carving away a whole lot and um, I'm holding the trimming tool um, what is this? This is parallel, parallel to the side of the piece. Um, I don't want to gouge into it right now. I just want to even it out. So I'm just trying to smooth it out and even it out. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing across the bottom. I'm going to hold the edge of the um, trimming tool parallel to the bottom. And I'm just going to gently lay it on the bottom. And I'm going to start kind of putting a little more pressure toward the middle. And then I'm just going to gently work my way out to the edge. And then when I get to the edge, I'm just gonna remove my tool. Um, so I'm flattening the sides and I'm flattening the bottom. And I'm gonna go back and forth a little bit between those two. Um, and then once I have a nice flat side and bottom, I'm gonna think about the foot that I wanna put on there. Um, for this particular piece, I left a lot of extra clay on the bottom so I could make a fairly um, significant indent on my foot. So um, I'm going to shape it a little bit by putting a little more pressure on my tool on the side. Just kind of carving away some of that extra clay that I intentionally left behind. Um, and now I'm gonna define my foot. So I'm gonna take my tool, I'm gonna use this little pointy part. I'm just gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna work my way out. To the point where I want my foot to be. So there's there's the interior of my foot. And I'm going to define it on the outside as well.
And I'm just trying to carve down a little bit and make a little edge. So when you see my pot on the table, there'll be a little shadow underneath it. It'll have a little bit of lift. And I'm just trying to make my, the planes of my foot be nice and even. And so now I'm gonna work on the inside of my foot a little more. And you wanna be really careful not to press too hard and not to take too much away at one time. This is a really common mistake that people make and you can, can end up ruining your piece if you try to take away too much at one time. So I'm just trying to remove a bit more clay from the inside of the foot. And then when you're happy with the way the foot looks, um, you can take your finger and dip it in a little water. You can take a damp sponge. And you can just smooth out that foot and get rid of any sharp edges. You don't want to have sharp edges on your foot because it'll scratch your table. You can also use a rib to do this. I'm just using my finger. And I'm compressing the bottom a little bit with my finger also. This will minimize the likelihood of cracking when I fire this. And then when you're happy with your foot, um, take your piece off the wheel, give it a little look, put it down on a surface, yeah. see how it looks on that surface. And if you're happy, then you're good to go. If you're not, you can trim away some more.